Single-celled organisms, like amoeba, can rely on simple diffusion to meet their oxygen demands. The oxygen doesn't need to travel far to reach every part of the amoeba. Complex multicellular life needs a more complex respiratory system, so they can obtain a large enough volume of oxygen to maintain optimal levels of aerobic respiration. They also need to remove waste gases such as carbon dioxide quickly. Simple diffusion of oxygen through the human skin would result in death. There isn't enough surface area available on the outside, so life has adapted to having structures, like lungs, which have a large surface area, on the inside. Complex multicellular organisms also have a delivery system, the blood in most cases, to make sure the oxygen gets to every cell in the body. It is important you understand that the respiratory system in complex organisms like humans has evolved to ensure efficient gas exchange. You must be able to label the respiratory system in humans. Starting at the top, we have the nasal cavity, where air enters the system. Ideally, we breathe through our noses to warm the air before entering the lungs to reduce irritation. Also, the nose hairs prevent some harmful particulates from entering the lungs. Then, the air travels down the trachea, which is in front of the esophagus. Remember, you have two tubes, and I'm sure you've experienced food going down the wrong pipe and you start coughing. The trachea also has rings of cartilage to keep the structure open but flexible. Then, the air can go down into either the left or right lung via the bronchi. The bronchi then branch out many times, and these smaller branches are called the bronchioles. At the end of the bronchioles are the alveoli. This is where gas exchange occurs between the blood and the alveoli. Obviously, you need to be able to label the lungs themselves, and surrounding the lungs are the ribs. Between the ribs are the intercostal muscles which cause the ribs to expand and move up and contract and move down. Finally, underneath the lungs is the diaphragm, which is the muscle that controls inspiration and expiration. The lungs are also adapted to keep foreign objects and microorganisms from entering them. Cilia line the bronchial walls and are hair-like structures which can flick back and forth. Mucus is produced by the lungs to trap dirt particles like dust and potential harmful microbes. And then the cilia push the mucus out of the lungs and to the back of the throat. It is much easier to cough up mucus that has been forced to the upper areas by your cilia. In the next lesson, we will take a look at inspiration and expiration.